crew with the eye in the sky. Slang 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 crew with the eye in the sky. Hey guys, and welcome to How to Make a Drift Strike from BDT Crew. Okay, first off, you'll need a whole green machine. Well, only the frame if you can get it. You'll need a whole frame, right? Um, fully stock, new or old. You can use the new one, it's pretty easier than the old one. The old one takes a bit more work because there's more bars that you'll have to work up but we'll go from one to each and you will need a bike frame new or old doesn't really matter and you, you will cut it you'll have two bars one that will come straight and you'll have one that comes down on your bike you cut your top bar off, you don't need it. You use your bottom bar and weld it to the back end of your green machine. It doesn't matter how far you go back, it depends if you like it long or short. It's all up to you how you like it. And most important, if you want a pedal wheel, I got this off the green machine that I had. And I grabbed my forks that I had on my bike and cut them. Cut them where my normal bike wheel attaches. See how it's different? That is off the green machine forks. You cut that off the green machine forks and you weld it to your normal bike forks. Pretty simple and you'll have a working pedal wheel. Now, front end wise, I had to remount mount my brake brace because my wheel did not fit on with it where it was. It used to be up here and it rubbed on the wheel. Um, so I re-welded it lower and I have shot forks on mine because it was a originally a mountain bike and brake setup haven't really done that because I bent my front wheel hit the gutter <laughs> and now this is where I've cut the bar off now you can usually keep the green machine seat that you have on your green machine for your track. Just all depends what you like. And you might want to find some more old green machine wheels because usually used wheels are usually fairly cracked pretty easy. As you can see from mine going down the hummock a lot in Bundaberg. And that's pretty much how you make the new version track with the newer green machine on the back. Oh, and you have to weld your back so your back axle does not move. Otherwise, you might have some problems. Now, for the old type of green machine, it's pretty much the same. Weld your back so it's stable. But what we have done here, right here is where we've, there, there, and there, is where we have attached different bars from the green machine. This frame here is the green machine. We have attached another bar up into the pipe of the bike, same with the bottom one. We've just attached it to make it a lot stronger. And this one does not have a pedal wheel quite yet. That's just the easier way to do it. Normal bike forks. Just your normal forks on normal bike wheel. And got any more questions? Comment 
below. And that's pretty much how you make one. With the ice in the sky, stand cool with the ice in the sky. Stand, 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 stand